everyone, welcome back to another video on the Raymox channel where we have gotten a brand new Tales of Tenora video due to a brand new devlog coming out in the Discord server and today we're going to be covering that. Unfortunately a lot of it is about chaining and hunting which of course that was my video topic like four days ago. So you know if I waited I could have included way more info in that but I'm not complaining at least we can get more videos out. So it's fun. Anyways, let's just get straight into it. Firstly, here's some of the things that I was actually complaining about. Um, one is the encounter time looks extremely slow with the whole, like, you know, grass animation. I have heard of an after the direct, and most of it clearly has been fixed here, or they're working on it. Encountering is now faster. Robotic animations have been fixed, which a lot of people weren't happy about and were complaining about, especially that big dragon. Especially that big dragon. And the entire battle UI is getting changed as well, which a lot of people were complaining about because it was like too simple. I'm not sure. I don't mind it. And encountering has been fixed or just made better, which is, you know, that's great to see. They're actually listening to the, com uh, to the community, which some other games could do, I reckon. A lot of games could do that, but unfortunately they don't. And I think we know which one I'm talking about. Chaining was also updated. Uh, now chaining is hidden during cutscenes, which obviously is just one of those bugs or features you need to add. The odds are also now added together with other facts like boosters, but the chances will never go below one in two hundred fifty-six, which is a you know decent rarity. That's that's still rare with every single booster and you know addition there. So yeah, remember that. If you're like, hey, why, why, why is it not going down? Because that's the max. It, it, it can't be easier to get than 1 in 256, guys. So remember that for the uh, release. Chaining is limited to a 1,000 of each species, which is, yeah, fair enough. The odds, once again, can't go below 1 in 256 from just chaining. And only one chain can exist at once, which is fair enough. Because who's really going to chain, like, five different Tenorians at once, you know? That would be way too complex. After a chain of 50, you cannot fail um, your chain from catching a Tenorian, which is good, because it's like a little, uh, you know, little safeguard. Because if you've already spent all that effort and you've caught 50 and you got a high chain, you really don't want to accidentally catch something and mess it up and, you know, delete the entire thing. So that's actually a great feature. And now this next thing, which is pretty important, is it about despawning. A Tenorian will never despawn if it's shiny, which is good because uh, we can't accidentally lose those, which is nice, always nice. Incense Tenorians will disappear quicker once that incense is actually over, which is, like, you know, it's an interesting and cool feature because it makes you want to complete and catch all of the incense Tenorians quicker. It gives it a little bit, you know, sense of uh, urgency which is cool i like that and then finally here's some screenshots uh correlating to the topics i've just spoken about and of course they obviously showcase the uh, fantastic environments so that's it for today guys i missed a couple things because they're not that important or i just didn't understand them to be fair but yeah uh what's your opinions are you excited for tenors tomorrow because i certainly am now and thanks for watching see you in the next one and yeah, we have some more stuff to discuss, especially this.